Welcome to District Dialogue, Commissioner Henry Mitchell. Today is going to be an awesome session. Uh, for those of you who may haven't watched District Dialogue in a while, this time around you're going to find some very interesting dialect with a friend of mine, a dear friend, a superintendent of the Douglas County School System, Trent North. Welcome to District Dialogue. Thank you. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. We're, excited. we're excited to have you. Yes. Now, the reason I started this show off this way by saying you're going to get some interesting comments, some interesting <laughs> dialect, is that we're going to go deep into your personal life. Okay. Because I don't think people know who is Mr. North, who is mm -hmm. Superintendent North. They don't know about, as we were sharing earlier before we came on the set, about your daughter playing basketball, mm -hmm. the wife. Yes. And then we're going to get it, we're going to dive into the superintendent side of the job, what you entail and what you do and how you do what you do. Yeah. Is that okay? That is perfect. Now, That's perfect. Let's, let's start off the set now. What's offline? Yeah, I, I just want to make sure. I don't want to ask you about, about June Mug and them that you didn't, you know, when you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> when you was three. And so tell me what's, know, what's offline. You know, th there is no question offline. Oh, okay. You okay, know, for okay, okay. Um, 26 years, <laughs> mm -hmm. my life has been in a bubble. Okay. And when you've held a public office and when you are a public servant, whether we choose to or not, uh, the bar is always higher for yes. public servants. Yes. yes. And so, as much as I would like for some things to be offline, the reality is uh, there is no such thing well, for a public service offline. Well, so I, so I welcome start. that. Thank you. So let's start there, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, I met you in the in the commission side of things. Yes. So let's let's start there. Mm -hmm. Talk about when you first ran for office. Why did you even run for office? You know, everybody always asks, why do we do what we do? I. Um, the, the children are always near and dear to my uh -huh. heart. And when I graduated from college in 1991, uh, there were people who, everything that came out of pol a politician's mouth was, we want to save it for our children, or we want to do this for our kids. Correct. And when you analyze the policies, there was nothing to preserve the quality of life. There was nothing there for students. Okay. And so I ran uh -huh. because the younger, my generation needed a voice. I knew that I was going to have kids, mm -hmm. and we didn't have recreation in unincorporated Carroll County. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that the city officials and the county officials and the school board commissioners always at that, they didn't they, they didn't have conversation. Station, I right. wish they could yeah. be at all. Yes. Yes. At least that means that they were at least communicating. <laughs> right. They weren't even communicating. Wow. And so I knew right. that that wasn't healthy for Carroll County. I okay. knew that it, uh, my undergrad was in political science. Okay. And so I wasn't an educator by trade, and so I didn't like how the decisions were being made. And so I made the decision. Um, instead of standing on the sideline, I actually had to get the law changed so that I could run. You went, you got into the game. Got into the game. Yeah, yeah, you got, got into the game. And, and which is really good, though. And, 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 and talk about some policies in Carroll County that you said that you said this was really good for Carroll County. And, and I've set this, the, the bar and raised the bar for our millennial, uh, that th those youth that are forthcoming, and, and get my, my citizens, my younger citizens, prepared for the future. What, what was one of those? Well, well, not all, We won't get into all the details, yeah. but what was those, that one that you said, man, I'm, I'm most proud of. I set the bar, and now they got to live by it because, I mean, you're gone, and you're here with us in Douglas uh, County. But what, what was you that? You know, I, um, I can't uh, carol tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Carol Tomorrow is the economic engine that um, leads job recruitments for Carroll County. Got you. Roy Richards, the CEO of Southwire, and this isn't a name drop, and these are just actual, it's just okay. a reality. You can drop uh, names, okay. That's okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I served on the advisory board okay. uh, for Southwire. Okay. And Roy Richards and I became good friends. And uh -huh. Lloyd Howard was the CEO of Tanner. Mm -hmm. And we were trying to broaden the reach of mm -hmm. our chamber. Mm -hmm. And we needed a public partner, uh, public private partnership. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Carroll County wasn't ready right. to invest. But because of my usefulness and the support that I had with the community, mm -hmm. I was able to partner with Southwire and Tanner and our private entities. And so I would like to think that I played an important role Absolutely. in the development of Carroll Tomorrow, the structure of Carroll Tomorrow, the representation of Carroll Tomorrow. So I would probably say, that from an uh, entrepreneurial, mm -hmm. uh, it would say that. But, yeah. I, but, but I was involved in the growth of Tanner's Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, I served on the, the board. And, mm -hmm. and, but even though those things were important to the community, my pride and joy would be the awesome recreation department that we have in Carroll County. We did not have a recreation department when I started. Okay. We did not have a complex for the students to play on. Mm -hmm. um, Mom and Pop, uh, they ran it. And so, without raising taxes, 
my pride and joy is the uh, five million dollar sports complex that go. is run and operated by Carroll County government. Beautiful. That Beautiful. would be my pride Beautiful. and joy. And, 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 you know, they always t they say about us when we deal as a commission, as a mayor pro tem that I've done and served as a council member, it takes a unique person to do this kind of work. Yeah. It, it's, it's not the, you know, the, the normal, you know, yeah. guy that, that runs into this particular field yeah. because the normal guys sometimes tend to get either in trouble yes. or create something that they probably shouldn't have created. And, and th their motives are not always pure. Yes. And, and it's not as easy as, as most people oh, think no, it is. No. You know, when in, in order to have the sports complex, the, current, the county attorney said no. And had I accepted his no, mm -hmm. wouldn't have been a reality. You're exactly right. I had to call the attorney general uh -huh. of the state of Georgia, and he walked me through legally how to do it. Got you. The chairman didn't want it. Wow. Um, but so you were his, going against the grain. Yeah, I was going against the grain yeah, because yeah. I was, everyone on the board was old enough to be my dad. <laughs> uh, and yeah. so one of my favorite commissioners, uh, he said, you know, Trent, why can't they just go and work? Or, and so his philosophy was when he grew up, mm -hmm. there wasn't extracurricular sports. Right. You worked in the farm. Yeah. And so the times were changing. Yes. And, and in their defense, they just weren't ready for it. Right. But our students were. Uh, so that would, ha I, I would say my so how, how did you get them? how did you get them to open their minds to, to, to welcome that type of, of uh, newness? Well, I, I think that's a myth. Okay. Uh, sometimes we try to get people to open their mind. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't do that with adults. Okay. I learned to count to four. I okay. needed four votes. Uh, <laughs> Got it. My goal it. is to open children's mind. Yes. Uh, they're the ones that are young and they're excited Understood. about tomorrow. They're not locked in. They're Understood. not political. They don't say the right things just because of it. They are concerned more uh -huh. about our country than those my age and above. We talk Understood. about it. We Understood. wear the badge. We, yes. But our policies, our actions, and our right. decisions, they're contrary to that. So I don't try to change minds. I learn how to count. Yes, and, and, then, and that's good, though. Uh, See, <laughs> and, and, and please <laughs> elaborate on that count, because I think people probably lost in what we mean by the count. You know, because yeah. there's how many uh, uh, from there the were, there, there were seven commissioners. commissioners. Right. I needed four. I needed you, three. Right. And, and so your I vote learned and, how to and, count. And three. I needed three others. <laughs> Uh, and so for 26 so you, years. you talked with your colleagues and yes. got your colleagues on board with mm -hmm. this idea yes. of, of how we can move with Tanner and others. Yes. And these guys kind of understood your vision. And, 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 and what's pretty cool is once you experience success, everybody wants to be a part of yes, success. Yes, sir. Everybody wants to be a part and, of yeah. success. And yeah. so when, we were, when they were building uh -huh. the sports complex, uh -huh. everybody was excited. Right. When we gave a million dollars to the University of West Georgia, mm -hmm. and now everyone, and, and it was a struggle. But now everybody yes. wants to own it. And so yes. I don't, yes. for me, who gets the credit for it is irrelevant. You're exactly right. As long as there's a benefit. And so it was quietly uh, stroking egos and yeah. quietly explaining. That's why I said it takes the, a unique person to do yeah. what you do. So, mm -hmm. so just your commissionship mm -hmm. is just, it's, it's unique. Yeah. Well, it's unique you. in itself. Yeah. Okay, so good on the, on the commission side. And how long did you stay in office? Uh, 26 years. Wow. I will See, retire. I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. realize you stayed up that long. Mm -hmm. I will. I will retire this month. Wow. Okay. So, okay. Let's 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 take a, a, a right turn here. Okay. Let's go down to in, in your personal life. I, I mean, I know you, and let's mm -hmm. share your knowledge and your 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 um, ideas and your thoughts and your views with uh, district dialogue mm -hmm. viewers. Talk to me about about the wife, about the kids. Uh, about you know you, when you mm -hmm. where did you grow up where, where are you from I, I'm, I'm I grew up in the projects okay um, 224B Thomas home okay but even though I grew up in the project we were there are classes within the projects okay and so we would have been considered uh, a part of the elite in the projects because I had a mom and a dad so my mom and dad both lived together okay I have a uh, uh, my immediate family there's four brothers and sisters but with my dad uh, I have a, a number of extended brothers and sisters. Understood. Understood. Uh, but but my, my immediate family is four brothers and sisters. Understood. Um, I met my wife in college. Mm -hmm. The first day, she set foot on campus at the mm -hmm. University of West Georgia. Okay, let's let everybody know who uh, okay. you know, okay. and um, she's very shy, but uh -huh. she's, she's my, in Carroll County, mm -hmm. they call us the Obamas. Because mm -hmm. there's, there's okay. my wife and myself, then I have two beautiful daughters. Uh -huh. uh, my oldest daughter uh, plays basketball for. Mm -hmm. Watley, a uh, Southern Union, mm -hmm. and my youngest daughter attends Georgia State. Okay. Um, and we are empty nesters for the first time. Oh, okay. And that's hard for me. Okay, okay. You know, okay. When, when my daughter comes home, I want to cry 
because I'm excited. So I'm, I have two daddy's girls, and so okay. they are my pride and joy. Understood. Uh, so whatever they want. Uh, <laughs> Is it full um, on your hearts or anything? Oh, Dad, yeah, guy, Dad's yeah. gonna get it. Dad, just yeah. Dad. I, I just can't believe it. Don't ask mom. Let me go no, ask Dad. No, no. Yeah. So I, 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 my, uh, my pride and joy. Understood. My wife and my two daughters. Got you. And, uh, and talk about the one that plays basketball and, and she's slam dunking on everybody. I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, um, my, my, uh, I've always wanted to know what it was, what it was like to come in late mm -hmm. and then have to do um, an interview. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't get in until about 2.30 last night because right. my daughter was playing basketball in Pensacola, Florida. Right. It was nice. The entire family was together. My mm -hmm. daughter from Georgia State came home, mm -hmm. and um, she's an athlete. Now, both of my daughters are athletes. Okay. Uh, my youngest daughter decided not to play basketball. Okay, okay. And okay. my oldest daughter, I don't know that she's playing because of her daddy. Mm -hmm. I, I, my hope is that she truly enjoys it, uh, but they're both equally um, athletic. She's did, pretty, pretty, she's pretty good did athlete. did you and mom and dad, I mean, did you or, or, or mom, did, did you guys play sports? Or? I played basketball. My, I, I love to say that uh, Corey Crowder mm -hmm. played basketball for the Utah Jazz, and Corey Crowder played behind me. His son, <laughs> Jay Crowder, okay. uh, plays for the Cleveland Cav Cavaliers now, uh -huh, uh -huh. and we're first cousins. Gotcha. Uh, well, we're second cousin. But I was, I was athletic. I stopped playing okay. uh, my 10th grade year because mm -hmm. I knew I was going to college and I didn't need a scholarship. Got it. Uh, I regret that, but so I was academically. You, you had the academics that, part of that's, it. That's that's my version. Okay, right. Uh, okay. <laughs> got it. I got it. That's okay, my yes. version. Right. Uh, but I was I was a decent athlete. I was uh, I played I did football, basketball, and track. Understood. Understood. But when I graduated from college, uh -huh. um, I never forget the high school football coach. I I, I, I started teaching at Carrollton High School. Mm -hmm. He sent someone over to tell me that I was going to be coaching JV football, and I never forget it. Okay. And I said I'm not going to coach. And he was, and he was like, "No, you're going to coach." Because in the old days, if you were a male athlete, you had to coach. Understood. And I have the utmost respect for coaches. Mm -hmm. um, end up coaching my daughter's basketball team, but because there were so few men in our profession, I didn't want the word coach in front of my name. Understood. I, I wanted to be seen as a <coughs> scholar and not as a coach. And we have awesome teachers that are coaches, mm -hmm. but because they have the coach in front of their name, sometimes they don't get the same respect Understood. as their peers. So I didn't, I didn't want coach in front of my name. But no, we look up to, to that, that word coach in your name, at least I did. Yeah, as, no. as, a, as, a, as a young person, you know, yeah. we, we look up to that. So that's, yeah. that's kind of, you know, I, I, I'm glad that you did yeah. and probably you had a huge impact on mm -hmm. some of those male and or female figures yeah. that, that, you know, those guys probably needed to, someone to look up to because yeah especially in the world today. Yes, I agree. It's an, an interesting world today. Mm -hmm. And speaking of which, they're going to be watching this particular program during the month of December. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we're coming out of Thanksgiving and, and getting into Christmas and gifts and all this other great stuff in the holidays. Talk to me about the wifey and, and how do you guys, you know, when you get ready for, I know you've already did Thanksgiving. Yeah. Maybe share with us how did that go. Excuse Talk me. to us about how do you guys plan and prep now that they're an empty nester and, and the kids coming back home maybe to be a part of Christmas and you know and, and, my, I'll, and I'll look for my gift you can send it to uh, 8700. I'm okay. gonna bring it to you personally. <laughs> no just kidding I'm now, just kidding. I, I, the, my, favorites, my favorite season okay. is Christmas. Okay. Um, it, uh, I, people are happy. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the most part, they're in a sharing or forgiving spirit. Okay. Uh, so I love the Christmas season. So from Thanksgiving up until the end of the year, okay. I am in a relaxed mode. Got it. Got uh, it. It's, it's, so that's my happiest time. Okay. Um, I spend time with my family. Mm -hmm. We will spend uh, Christmas Eve. We always spend Christmas Eve with my mother. We have for 26 years, and we always spend Christmas Day with my wife's mother. Understood. Understood. This year, that's we'll, the tradition. That's that you the guys, tradition. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. Yes. This year will be challenging for us. Okay. March, um, March of two thousand, October, March of two thousand seventeen. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord called my brother home, mm -hmm. and we have always been there, the entire family. He had a hyper uh, type hypertension stroke mm -hmm. uh, two years ago, struggled oh, with it, I and. See. We were at peace, and we know he was at peace. We know he's in heaven, mm -hmm. um, but he went home in March. So this will be our first Christmas. Wow. So it's going to be uh, a, a challenge for us. 
Because um, even though I'm the oldest brother, mm -hmm. he was the biggest brother. Got it. Uh, yeah. And so, you know, but with that, uh, I'm, I'm excited. You know, so I, I, I'm still excited about the Christmas. And so my task as the senior mem member of our family mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is to always make sure that he's a part of our family tradition mm -hmm. while allowing us to continue to enjoy the life that we have. And there's that, and there's that perfect Understood. balance. So I'm, I'm excited. My family, we, we tend to do this with my mom every year, as you state, the traditions are, we go there that Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. we'll do breakfast, and this is for Christmas, we'll do that Christmas yeah. Eve with her, we'll mm -hmm. do breakfast, and we, at midnight, everybody, all the kids and everybody yeah. else, we open up a gift, and you know, and then we spend that morning with her, and then we mm -hmm. run off to the wife house and everybody else and kind of spend Christmas everywhere else. Yeah. But it's been like that, I don't know, I'll say a yeah. hundred years, but this is just kind of what this we do. Family with, tradition, yes. <laughs> right, right, this is what we yeah. do, though. So. Um, Sorry to hear this about about your brother, but but they're, they're actually naming. Um, he was the uh, first uh, African American tennis coach mm -hmm. in Carroll County, and so they're actually naming a tennis court um, after yes. him today um, in Carroll County. That is nice. You know, he's, he's a good guy. That is nice. So during this tradition that you guys go through, do you guys open a gift during that uh, that Christmas Eve scenario, or we, do you guys? We, oh, it is. Uh, this is the only, only time. to get the bikes. I mean, I'm, I'm running around. I'm the guy yeah. who puts together all the bikes and, you know, and, and bikes and toys and, you know, gadgets are all around the room and, yeah. you know. That. For, I, I, I've, I've tried to teach my girls that the part of Christmas is the fellowship. Mm -hmm. And so for our girls, we don't do a lot. Um, they, they, they open up presents that morning. Understood. It's my mom's opportunity to be a blessing to all of her yes. grandchildren. So at her yes. home, yes. they all look forward to opening up uh, presents for her, Understood. from her. Understood. And so that's Understood. the highlight. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go to LaGrange and they open up presents from their mom in LaGrange. Understood. But for me, um, so people can get into financial uh, trouble yes. during the Christmas spirit. Yes. Uh, during the Christmas time, and, mm -hmm. and we wanted our girls to be responsible. Mm -hmm. And so we would pick out one or two nice mm -hmm. um, Christmas gifts for them so that they can wake up and have some things. Mm -hmm. But we try to teach them if you have a need, take care of it then uh, so that you won't have to spend a lot at, at one time. And so we want it to be about uh, the, the, the meaning of Christmas, mm -hmm. and we want it to be about fellowship and not about gifts and, and, and presents. Understood, understood. Yeah. It's yeah. about family. It's about family. It's, it's, I, I, I'm you know. with you. Yeah. And, and, and as uh, I They would disagree, but that's what we've been <laughs> <laughs> As I share with you, I, I was in Pensacola, mm -hmm. New York, Alabama. I mean, yeah. I, I traveled a lot in my career. And every year, mm -hmm. this time frame is, mm -hmm. it is blocked off. And I have to tell my bosses, no, I, I, I got to yeah. get back home. Yeah. I got to be a part of family. Yeah. Because uh, that, to me, is more meaningful yeah. than the mere fact of the, 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 the trophies and, yeah. and, and job titles I've received. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I got to say, my oldest daughter, she would probably say um, that her favorite Christmas mm -hmm. was we spent uh, two weeks in Italy. Oh, okay. And we missed the family here. Okay. But my wife was a stay-at-home mom mm -hmm. for the first Six years of my mm -hmm. kids, we won't, We felt like that was important, mm -hmm. and so we sacrificed mm -hmm. in order for her to stay at home, and mm -hmm. we did two weeks in Italy, Christmas and New mm -hmm. Year's, mm -hmm. and, and so my, one of the places my oldest daughter said she would love to live was in Italy, Oh, and okay. she was probably seven at the time. Wow. But she remembers it, and wow. my uh, five-year-old, um, they remember it, mm -hmm. um, and we rented a car, and did five major mm -hmm. cities, um, and so. Wow. So. Now, now, do we have the, in the future? And I'll move on. I know mm -hmm. I, I love talking about family, so yeah. this this segment could go on forever. Mm -hmm. WNBA NBA or, or, or you, we, you know, is that the ultimate goal and plan? I, will I will you leave us here and 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 I'll be seeing you on the bench of uh, as you, a coach? Maybe they don't have you know, the title there for you as coach. They'll just call you. You, you know, she. Uh, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm my daughter's worst critic. Okay. Um, I sit and I don't watch anybody else. I watch her and I watch how she interacts with everybody else. Mm -hmm. You know, I mm -hmm. want to know does she catch the ball in the pocket and does she shoot she in stride? When she goes to the hole, does she go with the left hand? Does she go on in control? Does she 
drop her left shoulder and drop. And so there are all these uh, techniques, the you. techniques that help you with basketball. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I think she would love to play in the WNBA. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think she uh, to that's play like, at that, is that league. Not the ultimate goal, or is that I think for, she would love to. Okay. Um, but you know, for me, okay, okay right, you know, okay. that's good. Right. Daddy will support you. Yes. So. But we're majoring in IT. Mm -hmm. uh, my youngest daughter uh, wants to be a gynecologist. Okay. Okay. And my oldest daughter uh, is majoring in computer information. Got you. So anything Denzel says at best, do what you have to. Okay. So you can do what you want to. Understood. Okay. Understood. So get your degree. Right. And do I'm, I'm okay. Whatever your dreams are. Well stated. As I said to my son, you got that piece of paper. There you That's go. what's most important. Yes. If he, I would love to go and, and see the games on Sunday. Yes. As I stated. Yes. To him. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you got that piece of paper and he's doing well. Yes. He's working, doing his thing. Uh -huh. And, you know, I said, you know, I won't want, I'm not going to run one mile, lift mm -hmm. not one weight. I'm not either. It's, it's going to be you. That's so that's that's right. it's your choice. Right. One quick thing. Mm -hmm. While in college, though, mm -hmm. did, did you pledge? Did you, <laughs> did you, did you, you stay know, away from that? Or? I, my, my, my family, uh -huh. they're crimson and cream. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, for the, for the hours that they're capital. Okay. Uh, but. I had so much fun. I was I played quarterback for the Kappas. Okay. I uh, played basketball with the Alphas. Okay. Um, I attended the parties with the Sigmas and the Omegas. Mm -hmm. uh, so I. You got out in one piece. I'm I got, I got out in one piece. I'm proud you of know, you. I, I hung with um, all the groups, but I do have a favorite. Okay. That I will not share. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, because they're they're big in Douglas County, Understood. so because they're big and very Understood. active mm -hmm. in uh, Douglas County. But my, my my family was crimson and cream. Okay. Okay. Got uh, you. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Okay. In fact, I was on the on the yard with Ryan Cameron. Oh. Ryan was know my RA. Well. Know him well. Uh, yes. Yeah. Know him well. But that does not mean I favor. I I, I, I am a friend of all. <laughs> yes, yes, you're neutral here. Yes. We, you know, we love them yes, all. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, let, let's let's change gears here. Okay. And thank you for sharing with your family yes. about your family, about your Christmases and your holiday settings and all that kind of good stuff. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Your degree in political mm -hmm. science that you spoke of earlier. Did you envision seeing yourself as the superintendent? of the Douglas County school system. Is that, was that the plan or you, you just kind of, you know, fell into this position because I, I, now I'll share briefly our conversations before mm -hmm. when the whole process was going through about, you know, you want to make sure is, am I the guy with the degrees and the, the skill set and yeah. everything? Is this what they're looking for? I always say to you, right. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> However, but at the end of the day, I, I, you had to find yourself or see yourself in that uh, position more so than anything. So mm -hmm. tell me, how you know, did you kind of direct yourself to go there? Because at one time, I, honestly, now I'm going to be honest with you. This is we're speaking. This is this is true honesty. I thought you wouldn't put your name in the hat based on our and our earlier conversations before. Uh, when when I left high school, uh -huh. when I was a junior in high school, my goal was I wanted to be president of the United States of America. Got it. So that was my okay. original goal. Okay. And based upon all of my research, you had to be an attorney in order to do that. Mm -hmm. So I, my path with political science was to go to law school mm -hmm. for two reasons. Number mm -hmm. one, I thought it would help me become president. Understood. And number two, I didn't like, uh, in the community I lived in, mm -hmm. the people who sold drugs, mm -hmm. the attorneys got them out of jail. And they coached them on how to game the system and they were in bed with uh, oh, yes. the, the the system didn't fare well right. um, and so I wanted to be an attorney because I wanted to do right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from a judicial perspective mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so my undergrad was political science with a concentration mm -hmm. on constitutional law mm -hmm. and I probably spent more hours mm -hmm. in the library briefing court cases and reading mm -hmm. the court's opinion, the, the court's opinion and the mm -hmm. dissenting opinion. And so I just really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Stumbled into education mm -hmm. and fell in love with it. Got I started it. off as a paraprofessional. Mm -hmm. uh, prior to that, I was actually a custodian, mm -hmm. uh, paraprofessional, um, but fell in love with education. So that's how okay. I okay. ended up mm -hmm. in, in education. Mm -hmm. uh, a teacher decided um, two days prior to school that he wanted to retire. 
my old high school coach said, hey, you want to give it a try? Mm -hmm. And standing in front of kids, having the opportunity to free them, to mm -hmm. think for themselves, mm -hmm. to draw their own conclusion, mm -hmm. to not take what someone says at face value, uh, to me was, um, was important. And, and my job isn't to get kids to think the way I think. It isn't to get them to share my beliefs. Mm -hmm. My job is to get them to think and analyze and draw their own conclusion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. So that got me excited. So I, I, looked, I never looked back at law school. I, God has been good to me. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't mind telling you. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and when I say God has been good to me, mm -hmm. he has always opened the doors for me. And when this opportunity presented itself, mm -hmm. I knew Dr. Pritz and considered him to be a friend, mm -hmm. still do. I call, you know, I, I, there's, there's, I call, there's this Marietta clique. Mm -hmm. And my former superintendent, Tom Wilson, came from Marietta. And then his predecessor, uh, Dr. Ken Edwards, came mm -hmm. from Marietta. Dr. Mm -hmm. Pritz came from Marietta. So I know the Marietta uh, clique, and so I knew he was going to retire. Understood. There were a couple of things that I needed for God to do in my life before I could even consider anything. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, in our profession, you don't typically like to move your kids when they're starting a new school. You move them before, mm -hmm. meaning they're, they're at yes. junior high school, right. when they're going to the high school, you move. Right. Or they're going to the elementary school, right. you move. Right. And so I had an opportunity to go to Valdosta City School System. Mm -hmm. um, my freshman, my daughter's freshman year in college, and I didn't do it because she was a freshman. Okay. And so as opportunities presented themselves, I wouldn't consider them because from a spiritual perspective and from a family perspective, it wasn't right. Mm -hmm. But then when my brother had his stroke, the timing wasn't right. And so I said, okay, God, I'm ready. Um, when I know that my brother is taken care of right. and my daughter is graduating. Right. 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 Uh, then I'll be ready. Well, Douglas County came open. Got it. And, and so I wanted to make sure mm -hmm. uh, that Douglas County was truly looking for a superintendent. Right. I remember the conversation. Um, yes. I don't, I, I, I'm competitive. Mm -hmm. I like to be the best. Mm -hmm. um, when I looked at Douglas County's data, Douglas County has an awesome school system. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the politics can be an impediment upon doing what's needed mm -hmm. in order to go from good to great. Yes. Uh, and so I wanted to know, mm -hmm. you know, if I put my name in the hat, you know, is Douglas County truly searching mm -hmm. um, for a quality superintendent? And, 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 and I don't mean to cut you off there, yeah. but I remember it yeah. somewhat in that same vein mm -hmm. and, and you deciding to even put your name in the hat. And, ah. and, and, me being selfish, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. But, but at the end of the day, I really understood your passion uh, and your heart about doing this. It's got to be right, yeah. it, it, and it's got to make it, sense. And it, do Douglas County school system yeah. really want this? Yes, and, and, and to apply for a superintendency, yeah. it requires every bit of 20 hours mm -hmm. worth of prep. Uh, you, to, to do it, you, you've got to get to know the organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you've got to see whether or not you are fit for the organization. Correct. Th th there's two parts. Number one, I want to make sure that I was a good fit for Douglas County. Number two, I want to make sure Douglas County was a good fit for my family and myself. And you don't want to begin that process right. if you don't even think that there is a right. real uh, opportunity there. See, even though they was interviewing you, yeah. it's like the interviewee and the interviewer. Yeah. It, it flipped over because you, you're saying, hey, do understand, I, I need to make sure that I do my homework, my yeah. research to make yeah. sure that I'm a fit for the organization because as stated, yeah. there's a lot of political drama mm -hmm. that comes along with the, the, the position and yeah. whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it, it's, 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 it's part a part of it. Yes. And we're taught that in school. Yes, we, we are taught that when you get into administration, right. you've got to understand the political dynamic. Yes. I, 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 I've got to say that it was probably the best decision I made okay. after prayer to put my name in. Got it. The, the, the board has been so supportive. Understood. I, I, I have an awesome board. Mm -hmm. um, they are allowing me to be the superintendent. Mm -hmm. 
They are supporting mm -hmm. me with my ideas. Mm -hmm. The staff, um, I, I couldn't ask the, 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 the community, mm -hmm. I couldn't ask for a better community, mm -hmm. a better board, mm -hmm. better employees to work with. Mm -hmm. You, my job is to serve mm -hmm. the board and the community in Douglas County. Mm -hmm. There is no greater gift than to serve those who embrace you as the servant leader. So I'm excited and so, I'm enjoying it. So talk it. about the, the serving, I agree, mm -hmm. and, and, and serving those administrators and or political figures and so on. But what's the ultimate goal? Is, the, is not the ultimate goal is to assure that um, the, the, the students within the system become the, the system that will help them to become the greatness. Ah, it, help me, help me with that. There's, there's two parts. Okay. The, the ultimate goal is for Douglas County School System mm -hmm. to become the district of choice. Uh, I want people to choose to live in Douglas County mm -hmm. because of the quality of our school system. Mm -hmm. I'm excited that Google is here. And I'm excited that we landed, I think it's Switch. Yes. And those things excite me. But when people decide to move to Douglas County, mm -hmm. I want them to say, we're coming to Douglas mm -hmm. County mm -hmm. because we know mm -hmm. that we can't get the quality of education that's offered there anywhere else. Absolutely. So, so that's my primary goal. Yeah. I, I, I welcome private schools. Mm -hmm. There's a role for private schools. Mm -hmm. I welcome charter schools. Mm -hmm. There's a role for charter schools. So there's not a fight there? Cause, no. Because it, it ultimately can't. that's always the statement. Yeah, you know, no. Public school versus charter school no. versus private school no. versus it's no, like, no. ah, can, can private, they all coexist? Pr private school uh, isn't. Mm -hmm. I mean, public school isn't for every child. Understood. Now, my goal is to meet or exceed our parents' expectations. I don't mind telling you that. Understood. I'm okay if your child goes to a private school. Mm -hmm. I am not okay if you choose to withdraw your child because your child doesn't feel safe. Okay. Then I've got to fix that. Understood. I, I am not okay mm -hmm. if you're alleging that we can't meet your academic expectation. Mm -hmm. um, then that concerns me. Um, so I support public school. Mm -hmm. I support private as well as charter. Mm -hmm. But I am confident mm -hmm. that we can meet or exceed our parents' expectations. I am confident of that. Now you know it's a challenge on our behalf, sitting at, on the Board of Commissioners mm -hmm. and looking out for the, the Googles, the Red Cross, yeah. the Switch, and others. Uh, that's one of the, the tasks that they challenge us with is, do we have the right school system in place that will attract those types of businesses and others? Yeah. Because they're looking for a workforce. Yeah. And, and, and if, if the school system doesn't kind of and endorse that type of uh, no, I, 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 no, no, do, I agree with them wholeheartedly. Okay. We've, we've done a couple of things, we've done a number of things right mm -hmm. in public education. Mm -hmm. and, and I can say that because 92% of the workforce, mm -hmm. they come from public education. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about our robust economy, mm -hmm. when we talk about how great America is, mm -hmm. how great the state of Georgia is, mm -hmm. you, you can't say those things without recognizing public education. Correct. Because 92% of the workers come. So yes. we've done some yes. great things. Yes, yes. But as we pivot mm -hmm. into the future, mm -hmm. we've got to do some tweaking. And, okay. and here's what I mean. For my 50 years, mm -hmm. we have spent K-12 teaching kids to read, write, add, subtract, multiply, mm -hmm. and divide. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to pivot in each year we get better at that mm -hmm. in K-12 and I want to spe specifically talk about Douglas County. Mm -hmm. So during my tenure as superintendent we're going to focus on kindergarten through eighth grade contend continue to perfect mm -hmm. academics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ninth grade we are beginning this year to develop a true ninth grade academy okay. where we will provide an individualized assessment mm -hmm. for every ninth grader. And the goal is to try to help them fine tune mm -hmm. what they want to do mm -hmm. at the end of their career. So if they want to go directly into the workforce, we want them to leave Douglas County High School with ready. some, yeah. not just ready, yeah. because we always say ready, uh -huh. and, I, and I think what happens is no one truly defines what readiness is. Okay. And so if you want to go into the hospital, uh, the, the uh, 
hospital, hospital industry, uh -huh. we want you to have some certificates, some certifications Got it. that you would normally get at the technical college. Okay. We want to increase our certificate program. We want to... Uh, so, so if I hear you correctly then, so will you kind of interact with uh, college courses and yes. or technical courses mm -hmm. that will be within the school system that would somewhat give you a chance to have somewhat worked in the field or have some knowledge of the field? 100%. Okay. We, okay. we call it wall to wall. Okay. We have an awesome CCI program okay. that serves about 5% of our students mm -hmm. and 5% isn't enough. We, we've got to grow that. Okay. And so imagine in lieu of going to the technical colleges yes. to get your training, mm -hmm. imagine on all five of our high schools, mm -hmm. that there are pathways, mm -hmm. and we're going to look at calling them academies. Uh, you know, so imagine we have a um, diesel shop, uh, we have a mechanic right. shop at Alexander. Yes. So imagine expanding oh, I it. that I, I and going it. wall to yes. wall. Yes. And so we're going to bring CTI mm -hmm. to our campuses. Right. See what that does, though, and and. Uh, and I don't mean to steal your thunder, though, but it gives me a chance. So if That's I right. want to, you know, work on cars or get my nails That's dirty right. and That's I'm right. cool with that, oh. at least I have coming out of high school That's right. an idea of, I don't like my nails being dirty, yes. so I, I'm not going to, I can't do that mm -hmm. because I've experienced it. Yes. You know, so I'm a firm believer in shadowing and dealing with those types of makeups yes. with the program within the program yes. to help us prepare because everybody's not college bound. That's right. Mm -hmm. Everybody is just not college bound. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen some athletes, yes. great athletes, mm -hmm. but not. couldn't couldn't get past the SAT yes. and or I mean the testing to mm -hmm. even get in college. Mm -hmm. They were great basic students yes. in school, but were high on the end of athleticism, and they they were great at it. So and there are good jobs. We've got to yes. do a better job yes. of helping our students and our community to understand yes. that an electrician is a very respectable uh, job. Absolutely. Working, you know, my, my, I have a nephew who works at Walmart.com. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he and his wife both, they work in the warehouse at Walmart.com. Mm -hmm. They have an, a very nice life. They own their home. Yes. They have one son. Yes. Um, they, they both have cars. They're not in debt. They have an opportunity to travel. So there's this myth yeah, 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 yeah. that I have to go to college right. in order to enjoy life. And, that's not, not the true. case. No, no, not true. You, not true. You can waste money mm -hmm. in a factory job, mm -hmm. and you can waste money um, in an office job. Yes. It isn't what you make; it is what you do and, with the money that you make. And you can waste money going to college. That's right. When it's not yeah. in you. Yes. I mean, okay, yeah. but here, no, that I, I know my, my producers in the background here. So I'm like, come on, guy, let's go. We <laughs> we'll be here for an hour because yeah. I just so enjoy having this conversation with you, though. So. You, you came behind some, some big shoes, mm -hmm. a Dr. Remillard, yes. uh, a Dr. Pritz. Yes. Uh, now here we are with the Superintendent North. Mm -hmm. Now, Henry's philosophy is, yeah. I don't believe in filling anybody's shoes. Yeah. I'm about creating my own. Yeah. What is Superintendent North philosophy? And how do you kind of, because the bar is, is, is raised, yeah. and, and you're raising the bar. I'm, yeah. We just had a quick conversation yeah. a few minutes ago about how you're raising the bar. I'm like, Jesus, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm over praying, yeah. so I'm gonna pray while you kind of yeah. elaborate on that question. <laughs> you, you, you know, I, Douglas County has been blessed to have awesome superintendents. Mm -hmm. That does not intimidate me. Okay. That motivates me. Um, I, I believe that I'm here for a purpose. Mm -hmm. I believe that I am here for a season. Okay. And I am excited about what's in store for okay. Douglas County. Okay. Here's what I shared with my staff. Okay. When Dr. Pritz left, mm -hmm. his main focus was to keep his staff in place. And in our profession, typically when a new superintendent comes, they do away with the entire leadership. Understood. And so I told Dr. Pritz, I said, Dr. Pritz, that is not my goal. Mm -hmm. I pulled the staff in and I said, here's the deal. I am not Dr. Pritz. I have no desire to be Dr. Pritz. Mm -hmm. I do not lead like Dr. Pritz. Mm -hmm. As long as you're willing to allow me to be me and to lead based upon my natural leadership style, okay. we can have fun mm -hmm. and take Douglas County school system from good to great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, and so 
I am about excellence mm -hmm. in every aspect of what we do. Mm -hmm. If there's graffiti on the wall, mm -hmm. I want it down the same day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we build facilities, when we um, remodel facilities, mm -hmm. I am about excellence. I don't tolerate anything less than that. Good. F from our community, mm -hmm. from our employees, mm -hmm. and so I am going to push. Mm -hmm. I am going to push the community. Mm -hmm. Uh, I had a meeting with the local clergy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to push the faith-based organizations to partner with them. I've seen you out there, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. When I'm, I, I, I'm, I have an, a, a good relationship with um, the executive director for the chamber mm -hmm. and for the development authority. I am going to push mm -hmm. uh, them as well, mm -hmm. just as I expect the community to push me. I have high expectations. And, and don't leave out the Board of Commissioners, but go ahead, Tommy. I, mean. <laughs> yes. the, I am going to push the City Council, and I'm going to push the Board of Commissioners. Mm -hmm. I, I am going to push the hospital facility, because I've been involved yes. in all of those. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's pretty cool to, and so I'm sitting in meeting. Mm -hmm. I haven't really had time to spend with my principals, because I'm still pushing my cabinet. Uh, I'm trying to broaden their mindset, and, and so, uh, and so I, I'm... You know, I, I hear things like, well, in Douglas County, that's not how we do things. <laughs> oh and, and so, yes. and I'm quick to say, well, <laughs> it's time. <laughs> yes. And I don't yes. say that to be negative. No, I, I, no. I, I recognize we, I we, 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 we've, we've got to respect history. Yes. And we've got to respect tradition. But you don't go from good to great by continuing the traditions of the past. <laughs> you, you, you've got to respect them. You've got to acknowledge them. Right. Um, but in order to go where we need to go, yes. we, we, we've got to make some changes. Yes. You, you respect the past. Oh, yes. You respect yes. our history. And, oh, yes. And, and, and I'm a firm believer, and I, I agree. Um, but, but here, I, I just, yeah. we could have a conversation, another whole two hours of district dialogue. Yeah. and have, This is good. This is good that people viewing this get a chance to know who you are, yeah. what you represent, where you came from. Yeah. So that's why I thought it was so important mm -hmm. to have you sit down with me and, and, and just, just chat and yeah. just have a conversation. But you talked about good to great, mm -hmm. and, and we gotta wrap this up because okay. like I said, my producers on the back end said, okay, Henry, you, 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 you're pushing it. You talk about good to great, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna tie this good to great in to those uh, social media platforms that have a tendency to think they know us and say things about us or what we're doing or not doing, then they don't always get the, the, the real big picture as to why we did or voted for or voted against of what that may or may not be. Uh, they don't always get the, good, the, the big picture as to what it, what's really going on. They only see it from a snapshot and they see in what their thoughts are and then they put all this unique messaging on the social media side of things. How do you deal with that? How do you handle that? And I won't, we'll stay away from, from the sites itself, but we'll talk just in general mm -hmm. to the dialect that they, that they message, message to and from mm -hmm. and talk about you because I read a lot about you. Yeah. And, and a lot of it is I'm disappointed about because I say they don't know it. They don't yeah. know it like, like that. But the sad part is I see a lot in there about me too as well. And of course say, oh, okay, mm -hmm. well, but I, I, how, do you, how do you deal with that? I mean, you, you, how do you, how do you it, handle that? You know, it's, there's two parts. There's how do I handle it and okay. then how am I instructing uh, my staff to handle it? Understood. That's new to me. Mm -hmm. um, and, and where I come from, everybody's singing on the same sheet of music. Understood. And when everyone's singing off of the same sheet of music, mm -hmm change can come about quicker mm -hmm. and easier. Mm -hmm. um, but here, there are groups that um, tend to consider themselves being the watchdog mm -hmm. for Douglas County. Mm -hmm. I support that concept. Understood. And, and what I tell my staff is we can't become bitter because of what they're doing. I don't agree with everything that they put up. Mm -hmm. And so it just requires us more work mm -hmm. to make sure that when something that isn't accurate mm -hmm. is posted, mm -hmm. that we make sure that we have the staff to respond to it. Okay. When they do post accurate information, mm -hmm. we've got to embrace it Understood. and we've got to own it. Mm -hmm. to, to give you an example, okay. and I know we're pressed for time, 
um, there was something that was put on the cars at one of our high school. Oh, okay. And the assistant principal, the principal called me, it wasn't the principal, my, one of my cabinet officers mm -hmm. called me mm -hmm. and was upset mm -hmm. because one of the local groups placed information on the cars. Okay. And I was upset and okay. they said it was bad information. Okay. And so I considered, you know, placing a restraining order um, on that group. Understood. But something told me, Okay. take a pause. Take, yeah, yeah. Pump your brakes. Let's yeah. pump your brakes. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's look at okay. it. Okay. And so I had Portia to get me a copy of the flyer. Mm -hmm. What they put on the cars was actually accurate. Oh, okay. It, it was off about five percent, about two percent. Okay. It was good information for our parents. Understood. We should have been sharing that information. Understood. And so my philosophy is those things that they're right about, we've got to own up. Yes. And we've got to make it right. Mm -hmm. Those things that they are not right about, mm -hmm. they have the right to do that. Absolutely. We've got to do a better job of educating our customer base so that they don't buy into it. Yeah. So, so you're going to do a better job at messaging. Oh, yes. Good, bad, or indifferent That's information. Correct. So, mm -hmm. so it, when it comes time to embrace it because it's right, we will. Yes. But when it's time to say, hey, no, 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 let me explain to you because here's the rest of the information That's that correct. we don't have. Yes. And I always mm -hmm. try to share with these guys, you know, these organizations. And, and, and this, is, this is somewhat considered crazy. It's actually making us uh -huh. yes. a, a better organization. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I'm not sure that that's ultimately the intent. Right. No. Um, and, I and think they got. I think everybody has great intent. It's just that what, from from their snapshot view, it's what they see is whatever that is, and and it's not quite right because they don't have the rest of the information in most cases. Well, but well, and, and I'm in agreement with you that. Yeah. But the the the, the reason I, I I don't think it's their intent. Okay. Because we're not the only educational business in town got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, but America is attacked by everybody mm -hmm. because we're good. That's what makes us great. Yes. yes. If, we, yeah. if we weren't good, mm -hmm. they wouldn't be monitoring exactly us. Right. So yeah. I embrace yeah. that. Yes. I look yes. forward to the questions. Mm -hmm. I look forward to exceeding their expectation. I look forward to them uh, challenging us. And Absolutely. so I, Absolutely. I, I embrace it just as I do private schools, just as I do charter schools. Right. And I don't want to say bring it on, mm -hmm. uh, because that will be arrogant. Right, right. But I do embrace it as we're not perfect. We're I, not going to get it right. right. I do a coughing conversation every other month, simply for that reason alone, to give them a chance to to, to have access yeah. to Commissioner Mitchell, you know, one on one, yes. uh, and not me at the uh, podium and with my gavel and you know, yes, yes or no, or up or down, are you going to do it or not? Yes. It gives them a chance to really just say, hey. Uh, I don't think that was right what you said or what you yes. did. And, but here's, the, here's what I find in, in most of my meetings, mm -hmm. that when I give them the rest of the story, yeah. it becomes, well, I don't know. That, I agree with you, yeah, 100%. I, I, yes. yes. So I said, but, but that's why. Yes. You know, but, but in the snapshot view of this, mm -hmm. when I'm at, 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 the, at the podium, it, yeah. it's, it's got to be quick. Yeah. It, it moves pretty quick. Yeah. I can't give you the, the dissertation. I, I mean, i got to give you the short story as mm -hmm. to why or why not, and this is why I'm moving in that direction. Okay, but here's another thing. Let me say, first of all, thank you. You're I mean, we got to do this again yes. because we, I mean, there were several places I want to touch on that I didn't get a chance to even to kind of get to because it's just so much information. Did I miss anything that you wanted to kind of have the viewers of District Dialogue to have a, a, a snapshot of who Superintendent Trent North is before we kind of wrap this thing up? I, I just want to miss anything that you may have wanted you know, to I, I just won't, share. I, I just want the, the citizens of Douglas County to know okay. that I am truly humbled mm -hmm. to be the superintendent of Douglas County. Okay. I'm not perfect. Don't profess to be. I am going to make mistakes. I'm not going to get it right every time. My commitment to you is I will own my mistake. I will work hard to try to make sure that we prepare your students for success after Douglas County. And I'm committed to being a good steward of taxpayers' dollars. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean reducing the quality. Our students deserve the best. Yes. I'm excited. Wow, well stated. Mm -hmm. And again, thank you so much for allowing Commissioner Mitchell yeah. 
to be a part of your world. And, and really, let me first of all, thank you for just being my friend. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, we've been friends for a very long time, but I, I'm glad that you took ownership of putting your name in the hat. I, I, I was being selfish by saying yes. No, I, I, I appreciate it, because yes. we're not allowed to have conversations. Right with board members. Exactly. And sometimes school systems already have the decision made up. Right. Um, right. And, and so, no, I, I appreciate that conversation yes. Yes. early on. I really do. Well, so I'm, thank you. I'm glad that you're here. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to know that uh, now getting a true uh, assessment of your vision uh -huh. and how do you see and where do you see uh, Douglas County school system in yeah. the near future, I mean, I, I'm proud. Yeah. And, and, and it only makes my job easier by knowing that from the school system's perspective, as a county commissioner, I'm good. Because yeah. now I know that my kids are safe, yes. my parents are in, in good hands, yes. and where we're going, because the decisions I make as the county commissioner, yeah. uh, it has a huge impact on what you guys are doing. Yes. So you guys, you know, there's a hand in glove situation that affects us. You got the largest employer, uh, you are the largest employer yeah. in Douglas County. Mm -hmm. So. I need to know mm -hmm. and be confident mm -hmm. that you got it. Mm -hmm. I was very confident in Dr. Remillard. Mm -hmm. I mean, Dr. Spritz, yourself. I mm -hmm. mean, I, I, I'm in good hands, so I'm okay. And I'll say this to my district dialogue viewers. You're in great hands. We've got a great superintendent. Thank you. <laughs> and, and I appreciate all your efforts. Thank you. And like always, if there's anything on our end, and you, you got my number directly, call me. But how can those that want to reach you here and watching District Dialogue and say, I want to call up Superintendent North and just say thank you. Mm -hmm. Yet along to say, y y you did my kid wrong yeah. over here, you know, but how can they reach you? Is there any? You know, uh, Melanie Nicholson is my assistant. Okay. Um, I've been meeting with community members uh, from day one. Yes. Uh, and all they have to do, I have what's called an open door policy. Okay. Now, we do have processes in place. So mm -hmm. if you're frustrated with an, a teacher or administrator, they want to win your trust. So if something doesn't go right in the classroom, start with your teacher, then go to your principal, then go to the executive area director, then come to me. And I don't want you to think that we're trying to create a bureaucracy. They want to get it right. Mm -hmm. They want to win your trust. Mm -hmm. And so always start there, mm -hmm. but always know that I have an open door policy. Mm -hmm. And that I agree. Yes. Well, and that Melanie Nicholson is my assistant. Okay. Um, so. yeah. Okay. Well, with that being said, Superintendent North, wow. Thank you, you know, thank you. Thank you. And, and thank you not only for just being my friend, but yes. thank you for taking ownership of yeah. this particular position and making and helping our kids become great. From good to great. Yes. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Again, thank you again. And to our viewers on District Dialogue, thank you for watching this program. We will do this again because we, uh, there was a, I was going in several other different directions, but didn't get a chance to kind of give it all that I really want to kind of dig down deep in with you though. But uh, we are planning a program, by the way, that will have yourself, mm -hmm. uh, your board, okay. uh, be a part of that so we can all kind of get those snapshots of where the school system is going. So I'm hoping gotcha. that somehow, some way, that uh, with our relationship that we yes. build that, that, that chance of getting you guys not only the board uh, setting on uh, DC 23, gotcha. but you know, your, your meetings and, and yourself just kind of gradually introducing to us where we're going and gotcha. as a school system. So okay. thank you again. Welcome. And to my viewers here at District Dialogue, thank you for tuning in. This is Commissioner Mitchell and enjoy the rest of your day.